Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so, I thought of this new video series. All right, let me just preface this. I used to call it prefacing. <laughs> well, apparently, it's pronounced preface. So let me just preface this. I need to just not use that word. Let me preface this by letting you guys know. I've had a long day. I've had a long night. I have been on some some medications for my cold. All of this is just a mess right now. I just went to my brother's house and I had dinner and stuff. And we had like a glass of wine or two. And then, um, it's actually pretty late right now, but I have my own wine crib, so, uh, yeah. Uh, but I've been posting videos every two days. Round of applause! Let me hear that ass clap. Come on, like, I've been posting videos every two days for like eight or nine days probably. So, I don't want to miss out on that. And I don't have a video film for Tuesday. And I don't want to wake up in the morning tomorrow, like all early and have to put on makeup and shit. Like, no thank you. I'm trying to get on my fall cleaning game tomorrow. Trying to clean out the closets and shit. So, I was like, you know what, bitch? Film a video tonight. Like, you always be having shit to say. You might as well just say it tonight. So, here we are. Tonight. It's been a long day, it's been a long night, but here we are guys, we're gonna talk about my first time getting a Brazilian. So, I thought of this new video series, right? I'm just gonna call it my first time. And then it's gonna be like, my first time getting a Brazilian wax. Or my first time doing anything. It could be my first time getting a wax, or my first time, I don't know, being body shamed, because I have a thing that says, let's stop body shaming, it's hanging on my wall. Then over here it says try not to be a dick. My first time being a dick. I don't know, I was probably very young. But anyway, I just want you guys to know that today's episode video is about my first time getting a Brazilian bikini wax. Now, because I'm a fat girl, I've always been like, okay, first of all, just because I'm a woman, you're like, I don't know if I want someone all up in my junk like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really want somebody all up in your grill. And when it's a doctor, that's one thing. Cause you're like, that's a doctor. They have like, you know, you got like doctor patient confidentiality and shit. Like that can't be, they can't go out and be like, yo, you know, Sarah, her vagina is a mess. Like they can't go talk about me like that. You know what I'm saying? They can't do that. And I don't think they would. And maybe they do, but I don't hear about it, you know? But like when you go get waxed, like that's just fucking Joe Schmo. That's fucking Joe Schmo right there. Like, just some regular ass person, just, you're like, they're like, okay, spread your legs, and you're like, okay, here's my vagina, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, I was, like, kind of weird about that initially, and then also the fact that I'm fat, right? So, I have, like, a belly, and then, like, I got, I, I, like, I'm not gonna describe my stuff to you, but just know that I'm fat from head to toe. Good enough? You got it now? Okay. So... I went in there and I was taken in by a lovely friend of mine who I've been working on my project with and it's been great and she now dubbed herself the hairy godmother because we were talking about some stuff that we had to shoot and she's like please shave because I'm gonna be all up you know all over you basically because she was like the creative director so she's gotta be all up in my grill and you know other places she's like you should shave for sure and I was like oh I was thinking about getting a wax and she's like and I, and I was like, no, but it's like, that's dangerous. Like, I'm scared of that. She said, no, don't be. And she's like a plus size woman herself. So she took me to the European Wax Center. This shit is not sponsored, obviously, because I probably wouldn't be drinking and shit in a sponsored video. Um, but she took me to the European Wax Center. The one that we went to was in Marina del Rey. Marina El Rey? Marina del, Marina del Rey in Los Angeles. And, oh, fuck, is that the city? I don't know. Marina del Rey. European Wax Center, just Google that shit. And I got waxed by a woman named Carly. But anyway, she took me. That place was the shit. Oh, why don't I have my products? Because I bought three products while I was there. I bought the exfoliating, excuse me, the exfoliating scrub. I bought the like uh, lotion to make it not grow as fast, the hair not grow as fast. Then I bought the serum that helps you not get ingrown hairs. But anyway, I want to talk to you about the actual process. So I went in there and I was like, you know what, bitch? You're going to get your vajay wax and that's what you're going to do. And you're going to be a grown ass woman about it. You're going to get up there. You're going to take those damn pants off, girl. And you're going to spread eagle, right? And that's what I did. I went in there. She's like, oh, it's your first time? I said, yes, it's my first time. She said, this is how you're going to breathe, okay? She's like, when I'm about to rip it off, you're going to go like real hard. She's like, so you're going to take a big, big breath in. 
and then really hard because that's gonna make it not hurt as much and I said that sounds stupid as fuck but I'm gonna do it okay because you're the boss right so Carly she did not look like Carly she looked like she could have been like she was no nonsense like her name should have been Helga she came straight from the Soviet okay like she was no nonsense I fucking loved her she was the shit so she talked to me like this is what you're gonna do so you put your feet together actually before I do this I try to be fancy. I'll be liking the drink out of the bottle, you know, but like two straws don't work as well. Mm. Mm. Okay, so what you do is, you guys can't see me. So you, imagine these are your legs, you put your feet together, and you butterfly them. So I'm the vagina right now. This is your budget. And you butterfly your legs together, and, um, and then you take your hands, and you pull up your stomach. Like, whether you got a gut hanging or you don't, you pull up your stomach and it makes that shit super taut. And then they put the wax on and they rip that shit off. And oh my god, it hurt. Like, the top hurts, right? Because this was my first time. So this is the first time they ever, like, ripped the hair out of there. And it was, um, it has to be, like, at least, like, a quarter inch long or, like, a centimeter or something like that. And mine was, you know, it was good. And so they ripped it out and she was like, oh, girl, you have sensitive skin. I was like, doesn't everybody have sensitive skin in this area? She starts ripping off the top and it hurts, but her breathing does work. So if you go to somebody and they don't tell you those breathing exercises, girl, just do it. When she's about to rip it, go. And then as soon as she's like, I'm going to go, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm ripping this shit out. You're about to lose a layer of skin. Go really hard. And it just really helps the pain. So on a scale of one to ten, the pain the top, not that bad. They, I told them to do all the way, crack to crack, like end to end, girlfriend. Like, you're already down there, let's just hit it. Let's hit it all. I want that shit baby smooth, right? So she did from front to back, and the, the part that hurt the absolute most was, the, you know, like inside the, your labia, the big one. Like, like, you know, she like waxes like the whole thing, right? So if it kind of comes together a little bit, she like waxes the inside part too. That shit hurt like a mother. Woo! That shit hurt. It hurt. But um, then after you do the front, I would say the whole process took like 20, 25 minutes maybe because she like oiled it up and shit afterwards, made sure everything was good. Um, then I like bent my legs back and this time you take your knees and you hold them to your chest and so you don't have to hold your stomach and she waxes your ass like, you know, in between your cheeks and stuff. She crack to crack, boo boo, like the whole thing. So it took about 20 minutes. It did hurt on a scale of 1 to 10. Like I'm going to give it like a, like a 7. Like, at the, the inner parts, that shit was a seven for seven, maybe an eight, maybe eight and a half. But otherwise, like, it's really not that bad. And you guys, the reason I did it, holy shit. The regrowth, I don't know how much you care about the regrowth of my vagina hair. But the regrowth, you guys, I gotta stop calling it vagina too. So that's really not, like, the vagina's on the inside and you guys are always correcting me. And I just, I just like to say that because I feel like that's what people call it. But, okay. So the regrowth of it, <clears throat> oh my god, it's been like three weeks. It's been almost four weeks. I gotta go back this week to get it done again. Because I guess in the beginning you do it every four weeks. But whatever. The regrowth. Guys. It's like nothing. There's no stubble. There's no stubble. There's no razor burn. None of that. They wax that shit off. You look perfect for like a good solid two weeks. And then you get just like a little bit of regrowth. But it's all soft and shit. It's not like crazy. It's not coarse. It's not like... You know, you know what I'm talking about, like when you shave, that shit hurts. And I get razor burn like a motherfucker. And so I don't want to shave and get razor burn. And I don't even like, I don't have a dude or anything. So I'm not out here banging anybody. Like, that's really not my style to be casual like that. I'm not like a casual sex kind of gal. All the power to you. If you are though, I kind of wish I was because mm, it's just been a while. But basically, I do that shit for me. Like, I like it like that. I like it all like... I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. Da, 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 da. Anyway, um, anything else? Hmm. Hmm. This is like my favorite one. It's super inexpensive. It's by the Robertson Winery, the Natural Sweet Red. Don't buy the other ones because those ones taste like asshole. Buy this one. This is my fave. Um, anyway, what else was I gonna say? The cost, it was $47. I tipped her $20 because she had to be in my vagina. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was all up in my junk. So, I gave her 20 bucks. So, it was $47 plus $20 plus the three products I bought were like, basically, I walked out of there spending $120. But you can buy packets or some shit. Like, you can buy like a membership and get like six waxes for like $200 or something. So, you do save money. Basically, you get like two waxes free. So, I'm going back this week. I was going to vlog it, but that's so weird. Like, I don't want to vlog somebody while they're ripping hair off of my vagina. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of weird, but I just wanted to let you guys know that 
They don't care if you're fat. They really don't. They wax everybody. They wax men. They wax, they wax women. They will wax you on your period. I mean, call ahead and ask if your waxer will do that. But the one I was talking to, she'll wax you on your period. And when you go in there, don't worry about like being funky or anything because someone's in your vajay, right? Just take a shower that morning. Get yourself a nice early morning appointment. Go. Wear cotton underwear. Wear breathable pants. Take yourself to the bathroom beforehand. Use a little baby wipe, a Summer's Eve wipe, a flushable Cottonelle wipe, whatever. Wipe yourself down. Make sure you're all good and proper. You go in there, take off your pants, sit on the table. Spread eagle, baby girl. And then she's going to be like, rip, 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 rip. And then she plucks some of them. And she said, oh, if you see any that I missed, you can pluck them when you get home. I said, you think I'm going to pluck the hairs off my crunch? You're hilarious. I'm not plucking shit. Pluck? Pluck the hairs? Pluck them? Girl, no. You're crazy as fuck. I think so. Next time I'm gonna get my armpits done too, because I hate shaving my underarms. Underarms are only $18, so 47 plus 18, that's like less than $60. No, it's not. That's bad math. $65? Wait, 8 plus 7 is 5. I mean, it's 15. So 5. So 65. $65. So, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, but anyway, I'm gonna go this week. I'm gonna get it done again. I would recommend it. Don't be afraid of Brazilian wax. And if you don't know what a Brazilian wax is, because I never explained it, is when they wax all the hair off of your junk. Like I said, it took about 20 minutes, but it was a good time. I mean, it wasn't a good time, but it felt fine. And I, it wasn't super sore. I did bleed a little bit because I'm just, I have sensitive skin and they just ripped all this hair out of it. But um, like I said, the regrow, good God, it's worth everything. That's all I have to say. Now, now I don't know what. I am gonna go fold some laundry because I'm real domestic. I'm a, I'm a mommy. I'm a mommy. Oh, I forgot to mention that I mentioned my kids are at their dad's house. Don't think I'm like this bad mom at home getting drunk and stuff. I'm not even drunk. It's just so good. It tastes like just like juice. It just tastes like grape juice. Like that's why I like it so much. And I don't normally drink out of the bottle, but mm. when you're the one washing the dishes, like shit, save a dish. Save some fucking water. Save some water, bitch. Like, why are you drinking out of glasses all the time? You fancy. So if you want to see my first time of anything, like fucking anything, my first time making fucking pancakes, my first time meeting a dude on the internet, my first time giving birth, my first time other stuff, whatever. My first time anything, anything you might be afraid of. My first time uh, signing up for health insurance. That was a scary process. Uh, my first time... Mm, and getting pulled over, it wasn't for drunk driving, I'll tell you that much, because this bitch takes care of herself. I mean, with driving and shit, I'm not about that life. Uh, whatever. My first time anything, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you think this is a good video idea. And if you don't like seeing me in a state of, I don't even know. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not drunk or anything. I'm just having a good time, you know what I'm saying? And since no one's around and no one's home and I like, no one's here, like, I gotta have a good time with you guys because you guys are my friends, right? I'll see you guys on the flip. Bye. Tink, 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 tink. You guys always talk about me ch 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 chattering, chittering, clicking my teeth. You always talk about it. I don't know why you always talk about it. It just happens. It's not like a nervous habit. But, mm -hmm. It's my favorite wine. I didn't drink the whole bottle. Don't think I'm crazy like that. I only drank like a little bit. Like this much.